welcome to Kickstarter Conniption. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. And we are happy to be part of the Tantrum House family. Today we are looking at Villages of Valeria. It is a village building card game for two to four players and it's coming to Kickstarter Tuesday, February 2nd. Now this game is set in the same world as Valeria Card Kingdoms, but this one is a standalone game. You uh, may notice some similarities in the artwork, especially with the buildings. The game comes with two types of cards. You have the building cards, and they can either be built in your village, or they can be used as resources by flipping them upside down. The other type of card are the adventurers, and they can be recruited if you have the right kind of buildings in your village. Uh, the prototype uh, uses gold cubes, but I think they're going to be coins in the produce game. Uh, the gold is used to pay for resources and to recruit adventurers. Uh, you also have the rest of the components, and they include starting castles and player aids for each player. We're not going to go into all of the rules for the game and go through all of the gameplay, but we are going to give you some of our opinions about the game. I found the mechanic of discarding onto the pools of cards to be pretty interesting. It gave you some strategic choices about which cards do I cover up and which ones do I want to leave open for myself or for other players. Uh, another cool mechanic is how you pay for the resources in the game. You can use gold on your cards or on other players' cards. And this may cover up resources you or another player may need. Of course, getting that extra gold from another player is always nice. I really do enjoy playing this game. There are lots of interesting choices you can make. But I'm a little bit concerned about replayability, especially over a long period of time. Maybe something can be done with the number of cards. Instead of three of each building, maybe some could be more rare with only having two. And then there's also when you're playing with fewer players. Maybe something could be done to change the amount of cards by randomly taking some of them out of the deck. Now, there are only ten adventurer cards in the base game, and it looks like there are some stretch goals that could unlock maybe a few more. But even when we were playing the game, I felt like there could be even double the amount of ventures, and that would make the game even better. But uh, we'll see what happens. Overall, I think this game works really well. The rules are easy to understand, and the iconography is very clear. And then there are lots of strategic choices that you can make throughout the game. Um, which action do I choose? Which one do I follow? And then even with the cards, which ones do I build as buildings, and which ones do I use as resources? A few games came to mind as I was playing Villages of Valeria. Uh, first, uh, there was the Seven Wonders or Imperial Settlers feel where you're putting your resource cards underneath your main card. Um, another one was Puerto Rico um, where you get to take actions, um, like say produce, um, but there's also a cool mechanic where people can follow your action and uh, it usually costs the other players just a little bit more. Now, Daily Magic Games has had a few successful, successful Kickstarters already. Um, Valeria Card Kingdoms and Mana Surge. So I think this one is probably going to do well also. So if you are interested in building the best village in Valeria, go check out this game and back it on Kickstarter.